10 traits of highly successful traders. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, 10 traits that uh, you need to have if you want to be a highly successful trader. Okay, so uh, if, if you're still struggling or you're still um, not yet profitable, then uh, watch this video, okay? Watch this video and uh, use it as a checklist against your own uh, mindset, uh, your own attitudes towards trading. And um, this way you can actually make certain changes towards uh, your trading attitude, okay? So we always say that uh, awareness is the first step to change, okay? So it's okay if uh, you don't really possess some of these traits currently. That's totally fine. In fact, no one starts off like that. Okay, and that's why it's so difficult to become a profitable trader or rather a very successful one so without further ado let's get into it okay number one okay successful traders are very patient okay so they are able to sit tight and do nothing and hold on to winning trades okay and they are also willing to uh not really willing but they are super impatient when it comes to losing trades that means that they are they, they want to cut the trade if it's not working Okay, so maybe some questions to ask yourself would be uh, how patient are you uh, when it comes to waiting for a trade? Okay, um, do you have to trade every week? Do you have to trade every day? Okay, um, if you have to trade every day, like it's an addiction to you, then probably you're not really very patient. Okay, and uh, probably that is also a sign that uh, you are trading for action, right? You're trading for the adrenaline. You're not trading because uh, there is a legit opportunity in the market. Okay, so ask yourself, how patient are you? Okay, that's number one. Okay, number two is they approach the sixth trade with the same mindset they did on the previous five losing trades. Okay, this is really huge. Okay, this is such a huge uh, trade or rather this is such a huge factor that determines whether you will be a successful trader or not. Okay, so what, let me just expand on this. Okay. Six trades. So if uh you, you know you had five trades uh in a row of losses, and that's pretty common actually, um losing five trades in a row. Okay, do you take the six trade with the same mindset, knowing that um your strategy is uh is going to work out if you stick to it, or do you have the mindset that oh um this signal provider lost for the five previous five trades or oh this trading strategy lost on the previous five trades i'm going to abandon it and i'm going to find another trading uh, strategy okay if your mindset revolves around you know oh this this strategy uh, or signal provider lost five trades in a row and you are going to jump right jump to the next uh, shiny object right the next uh the next signal provider who says that oh they make a thousand pips a week or something like that then that's uh that's not going to give you consistency, okay? Just think of it this way. You cannot achieve consistency in the market if you are always doing things uh, haphazardly or you are not being consistent in the way you think or being consistent in the way that you trade, okay? So you only get consistency when uh, you trade with the same mindset, using the same methodology uh, every single time. Okay, so if you if you are in our channel, your Telegram channel, you know that uh, we are very consistent in the way we trade. Uh, we do it every single week. We do it every single day. It's always consistent. So um, that's how we generate the results we do. Okay, and if you are not already in our Telegram channel, uh, make sure you join our Telegram channel because there we provide a lot of uh, trading signals there just uh, for you to learn and earn at the same time. Okay. So anyway, let's move on to number three. Number three, they are confident decision makers in the face of incomplete information. Okay, um, successful traders are just like you and I, right? They don't know for a fact that um, certain things will happen. Okay, they understand that trading involves uh, like probabilities. There's no such thing as certainty. But in, you know, in spite of their... Um, this, or rather in spite of their incomplete information, they are still able to make decisions uh, confidently. Okay? Uh, if you really understand why they are able to do it, it's because uh, they understand that trading is a probability game. Okay? They know that uh, it's not possible to always get it right. Uh, I mean, you think of it this way, you can't even always get it wrong. You can't even lose 100% of the time when it comes to trading. So they understand that uh, you know, it's okay to lose some money. And I think one thing that really gives, uh, maybe for us at least, what gives us confidence is that we know that uh, 
losing a trade will not blow our account. We know that it's okay for us to lose five trades and still come out okay. You know, it's that unshakable confidence that uh, I do not need to make money instantly, but in the long run, right, um, across 20 trades, 30 trades, uh, we'll always make money. Right. So every time in our Telegram channel where we, we, we are going through a drawdown, we always say that uh, just manage our risk and we we'll always come back, uh, you know, come back up uh, with profits. And that's what we have been doing over and over and over again. Okay. So focus on your risk management if you want to develop confidence in, uh, you know, making decisions. Okay. Number four. They realize that making money is more important than being right. Do you know a trader that always insists on being right? Well, we certainly do because uh, we receive a lot of uh, emails from our uh, subscribers right, telling us that they expect every trade to be you know, 100%. Okay? Uh, here's the thing. Okay? Successful traders know that uh, they, 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 they'd rather be making money than being right. So what, what do we mean by that? Uh, we, what, what I'm trying to say is that it's okay to, to lose money, right? They, they, they rather admit that they are wrong, that the trick isn't working out, that you know they got it wrong or their edge is not working and just cutting the losses than insisting that uh, they have to be right and holding on to their losses, okay? So a lot of people, when they trade, you know, they, they don't really cut their losses because they refuse to be wrong. You know, they are very headstrong that they must be right, that the market must uh, listen to them. And if you really think about it, it's pretty ridiculous, right? Think about it that um, you are saying that everyone in the world, or rather, you know, every single trader has to agree with you and that everyone is responsible for, you know, um, putting money into your pocket and saying that, oh, yes, uh, John or whoever your name is, oh, John, your analysis is right. We agree with you. We're going to give you our money, okay? It, it doesn't work like that. I'm sure you, you kind of realize Okay, and this uh, factor over here, or rather this habit over here, ties into uh, the first um, the first habit that we talk about, right? That uh, they are willing to uh, they are they are very impatient with losing trades because they are willing to admit that uh, they are wrong, that they, they you know that the, the this signal that they take, no matter how good it looks like looks right, or how how often it makes them money, how high probability there is, there is still a chance for them to lose money okay so now number five sorry looks like um yep okay so number five is very similar to number four in fact we almost got confused <laughs> hence the, the the brief delay you notice that uh, both is you know they realize so anyway uh number five is they realized a long time ago that being uncomfortable when trading is totally okay Okay, I think there's a myth go that says that you have to be very comfortable when trade when it's trading. Um, actually, that's not really true because um trading goes against a lot of our um human nature. For example, hum we are naturally greedy. Okay, we are naturally uh you know we tend to want more. We always want more, right? We tend to be impatient. Okay, so successful traders realized long ago that just because they are uncomfortable doesn't mean that uh, they're doing something wrong okay sometimes uh, for example your trade is doing very well you are up um, 100 pips but your trading plan says that okay i uh, the for this particular trade the take profit is uh, 200 pips and you know you know we are all humans right successful traders will kind of have that feeling like oh you know already up 100 pips you know let's just close shop let's just call it a day let's just take some profit in fact uh that's a problem that we face too right sometimes we even we, we also give in okay we are not perfect um so successful traders realize that it's okay being uncomfortable you know sometimes you get very uncomfortable you know sometimes you lose money you also feel upset you get uncomfortable and that's all normal because uh Money is, is a very sensitive topic and you, sh you should feel uncomfortable if you're losing money. You should feel like, oh man, I lost money. Okay, that, that's a normal reaction. But you should make that, you should see that as being, you know, totally normal, that it's okay to be uncomfortable. Okay, it's not about how you feel, it's more about what you do. Okay, you, you successful traders, when they're uncomfortable, they don't do stupid things such as, uh, you know, take excessive risk or, you know, they don't uh, start to take open 20 positions just because they lost some money, okay? They understand that, okay, it's normal for me to feel upset that my 
uh, previous four trades are losses, but what they do is that uh, their action is still consistent. In spite of them losing, uh, you know, like five trades in a row, they will still take the sixth trade with the same amount of conviction as they did with the previous uh, five losing trades. Okay? So now, number six, they stop trying to pick tops and bottoms. Okay? Uh, successful traders understand that uh, you don't have to pick tops and bottoms. Okay? In fact, tops and bottoms are pretty hard to pick. Okay, and that is, and for some reason, right, most uh, new traders are obsessed about picking tops and bottoms. Uh, maybe it has to do the adrenaline rush of um, you know being able to call a, a, a market bottom or market top. But uh, successful traders understand that uh, you want to wait for the market to show you when it has turned. Okay, you don't want to try to predict, but you want the market to uh, show you. So basically, you don't chase the trade or you don't force the trade. What you want to be doing is you want to patiently wait for the market to reveal its position to you, like kind of show hand to you, and then you just go in and you scoop up the pips. Uh, and that's also the easiest way to make money rather than trying to um, say, oh, I believe that the market is going to bottom here or it's going to top over here. Okay, number seven, they never add to a losing trade. They never, never, never add to a losing trade. Okay, even in our Telegram channel, you don't see us stacking multiple positions, uh, especially when the first position is in a loss. Okay, never add to a losing trade. If your account is showing you that your first trade is, is currently in the red, that means that um, you probably didn't consider, consider something or probably your edge isn't working currently. Okay, and if that's so, you don't want to throw you know, additional money into something that isn't working. Okay, if something is red, leave it. Okay, if your stop loss is, is, is there, the stop loss is there for a reason. Okay, it will take you out um, if you are wrong. Okay, if you want to enter that, uh, you want to enter more positions, look for other opportunities. Okay, again, never, never add to a losing trade. Number eight, they keep a trading journal or rather trade journal to understand their shortcomings and what works for them. Okay, this is so huge. Okay, this is so important. Okay, um, over here at Financial Market Results, we analyze our trades every weekend. Okay, after you know we send you the trade results for the week, we spend the day to analyze uh, trades that uh, we've taken. Right, we ask ourselves, could this trade have been avoided? Is this a good trade? How do we improve on it? And then we prepare for the next week. Okay, you need to have a trading journal because you need to understand what is working for you. Okay, um, you can learn a strategy from us. You can learn a strategy from um, any of our competitors. It doesn't matter because what you need to do is you need to understand what works for you. Just because something works for us doesn't mean that it will work for you. Okay, let, let, let me just explain it a bit further. Okay, if um, we are a swing trader and your trading personality is you, kind, you are kind of like a scalper then you're going to have uh, issues or you know you're going to face a lot of issues with executing our trades because uh, you kind of just want to go in for like 10 pips, 15 pips and you want to be in and out fast, right? And if let's say our trades take at least two, three days to, to hit the take profit, you're going to have problems sticking to our plan, okay? So always keep a trade journal so that you can understand what works for you, okay? It also help you to find, you know, like um, ways to tweak your strategy. For example, um, um, you realize that, oh, on Wednesdays are more profitable. Then, of course, you want to be more aggressive trading on Wednesdays, okay? In fact, uh, we always talk about Whipsaw Wednesday, okay? If you are in our Telegram channel, you know that we always talk about the concept of Whipsaw Wednesday. And this concept was developed after we, we you know, have our trading journal. We found that, um, look, it seems like every Wednesday, initially, you will be in a rate. And after the rate, you will be in a big profit. So, we ask ourselves, why is that so? Right, so our trading journal gave us insights into how the market moves. Okay, so you want to be keeping a trading journal. Okay, if you are not too sure how to keep a trading journal, right, just get started first. Right, just get started. The, the hardest part is always getting started. Get started first. Watch some videos. Put open up the Excel spreadsheet. Um, put in the details. For example, the currency pair, the date you traded, the, the entry, the results. Okay, just get started. You can always get better later. But one thing that you want to be doing is that you want to get started um, and make this a, a, a important habit. Okay, this is one of the habits that um will make or break you. Okay, I mean, it's, I mean that's serious. Okay, when we did start doing this 
diligently, our trading results started to, you know, just, just blue. You know, it's just wow, okay? Because we understood what was working and what's not working. So make sure you do this. And that's also why we spent so long uh, in this video talking about um, just, you know, this, this one important thing that you should be doing. Okay, number nine. They realize the ma market, sorry, not the money. The market will always be open tomorrow and there will be ample trading opportunities. And that is why successful traders have no issues waiting, right? They are patient. They say that, oh, the market is not moving. No big deal. There's always another day to trade. So maybe ask yourself, are you always very aggressive towards trading? Do you always want to trade, right? How patient are you? Okay, this is back to uh, what we shared earlier. How patient are you when it comes to trading? What's your perspective towards trading opportunities? Do you think that there are a thousand and one opportunities that you can profit on? Or do you think that there's only one trading opportunity? Okay, if you think that there's only one trading opportunity, then it's more likely that uh, you are going to be chasing after a trade. Okay, and you're always going to be very impatient. Okay, and now the final point. Okay, before... Successful traders exceed any trade. They know exactly where they will exceed and how much they will lose if they are wrong. Okay, this is so very important. Having an exit plan, knowing how much to risk and how much they will lose if they are wrong. Okay, if you truly believe that uh, you cannot predict the market and that trading is all about probabilities, then it makes sense to have a exit plan. Okay, more than that, it also makes sense to know how much you're going to lose. You, you, for example, if let's say you go buy a car, you, you want to know the price of the car, right? You won't just say, oh, uh, salesman, charge me anything you want. I just want a car. Just charge me as much as you want. And then you just give him your credit card. No, it doesn't work like that, right? You go to a, you know, you buy a car and you ask, oh, what's the price of this? So same thing when it comes to trading, you need to ask yourself, how much will this trade cost me? How many pips in loss, right? So for example, this trade is going to, cost me 30 pips in losses uh, if I'm wrong. So how much am I willing to risk? Okay, I'm willing to risk, let's say $300. So I should be buying a position size of about one standard loss, which is 100,000, right? You need to know this kind of, um, you need to know when you're going to exit and how much you're going to lose, okay? So we talk a lot in these 10 videos. So uh, as we said at the beginning, use these 10 factors to evaluate your, uh, to evaluate yourself to find out like some areas, uh, some perspective that you have that are not ideal towards uh, your success as a trader. Okay, tweak them, right? And if you have any questions, comment down below. We will answer them as always. So, yep, if you're new to our channel and you've gotten value of our video, definitely hit the subscribe button, turn on the no notification button so that you receive updates about our video and we will help you to um, help you reduce your learning curve to become a successful trader. Okay, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video.